Right, I'm not sure if I remember how to do these, but I'm going to give it a go now. I've got these feathers, and they are stunning. These are the ones uh, that were left from the flowers I've just done. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm just going to take off the bottom four feathers so that I've got something to grip. Now what I've got here is various bead caps. So I'm just going to use some of these and I'm not sure I've got to uh, just figure out how I'm going to do it because I, I might end up putting one inside the other like that. I'm not sure if it's going to be that one or that one. Uh, I need to lift some of these up. And it might be like that. That's that's perfect. Uh, I've got. Oh, sorry. I need to get the glue gun on. Oh, I always forget to switch that damn thing on. Right now, um, wire. We can use this white coated wire, which I'm going to attach the feather onto that, which will also give me part of a handle. I would think. Let's have a look. Now, why is that? That should go through there. Let me just see. I need to get that through the gap. That's it. About that. Then that will fit onto that. <sighs> now, I want to make sure that we've got it really really pretty but will these wires go through that's the problem and they won't will they go through that one <gasps> yes I'm not sure whether that's going to be Let's see if it will fit through something like that. No, it won't. So I'm only able to use certain beads, unfortunately. And I've only got this one or blue. I'll have to make some blue ones then. I want to be able to do that. Oh, where's my feather gone? This feather. Which will go on to there. And that will have to go to the end. No, can't do it with the bead on. Never mind. We can do it. Right, okay. I can do it this way. That's it. I'll have to pull that through. Yeah. Right, okay. Let me just sort this out. get that through there glued onto there so that's what I need to do like that I need to be able to thread on this feather like that oops like that pearl let me just get pearl that's what I'm after Ugh. I need a teardrop pearl I've got some more here be a teardrop pearl I just thought of something but they do have can I be a crystal one um or it can be hang on not that one I have some here oh 
turn upside down then. It can just be these. The uh, rice bead. We'll see. See which uh, I like best. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue there and glue that down. And glue around the stem because I do want that bead cap on it. Right, set that in like that see now i need a pair of pliers just to bend this front section back a little bit that's it so that kind of matches and i think do i need that in I could do, but I like the idea of having the flatter one in and it, as it will sit in. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So we're just going to put the... Push that in there, like that. So depending on the project. But that will go on your project. You know, if you're doing a... A card you just snip it where you want it snipped if you're doing um, a plaque or something Woo! <laughs> it shot off again see that will go on a card a plaque uh, it'll go in a flower or whatever play around with what you've got and make your own embellishments because you can't get i keep looking at that bloody thing you know it, it's rude <laughs> sorry just play around with what you've got i'm going to make some more of those because like i said i can use them in anything now i've got this particular one so and then i've got this left let's see if we can use this up don't waste any part of a feather if you can help it. Start at the bottom, we'll work up like that. You can take these little bits off, that's nothing. You've still left yourself with the plume. A decent plume. Like that. Okay, so we can add that to this one. Let's just open that up a little bit. Come on, it can go. Pull it a little bit more. That's it. Now that one may need. I'm going to open this slightly, to be honest. Like that. If there's a feather that's sticking out and won't lay flat, just take it off. I'm going to close mine in a little bit there. I just think that that's... better like that I need that to turn a little bit that's it so I'm just going to put this on like that and there's another one and then if I want to fold that up I can yeah, I like that. They're just great. Look, I know I like that one better, but you can just do all different ones to go in your flowers and your projects. 
So let's have a look. I've got one in the bronze. So I've got this stick and I'm going to do another one of these. Let's get one a bit more feathery. That one I think. I shall make it into one. Oh, pick them up. I can't pick them up. Right, I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to dismember another piece of this. Oh god, they're really hard to pick up. Okay, now we're just going to glue it again. Go from. I'm just going to take a couple of petals off the bottom section. Not petals, leaves, uh, feathers. And we're just going to fold that up like that. And then just in case it's... Uh, freeing itself a little bit we can do that yeah now that will sit in there need to lay that flat I'm not sure I'm gonna do that I'm gonna cut that off I think And I'm going to pop from the back. That's it, the stem, because it's a longer stem. And we're going to glue that in. Just take that out a minute. Glue this in like we did before. So we'll just wait for that to harden. Bit of glue on the ends. And then we're going to glue that in like that. I think this time, shall we have a pearl in there? I don't like them, I actually like the flat ones, it lays better. But they're quite elegant looking. That's, oh look, that's just gorgeous. And then we take hold of the uh, bead cap. And we can slot that in there and push all of those beaded things up. Push them back. And that's not going anywhere. I'm just going to cut it though, it's a little bit long for me. Oops, I shoot off. So yeah, I do like that. That's another one. I'll show them in a minute, I'm going to finish them off. Uh, just put that there. I'm going to use this. Do you think we'll get enough for that? Yes, I think we will. It is like I say, just take the feathers off the back. Just gonna trim all that off. I think that's fine. Take another one of these. Now we might need to open this up. Let me find the end. The there is it there? A little bit, yeah. Ah. 
it's got one of those inside that's why mate come on <laughs> silly old right let's just get that into there I'm going to shorten that, glue it, you don't have to have a stem on them but um, you can just use this depending on what project it's going on, see like that and again uh, I need a flat pearl, there we go Do that as the front. Oh, I had a piece there. So if we get rid of those few bits, that's better. Swing that around. Oops. Uh, the other thing I thought of doing, which I've just spotted. And I don't see why you can't. I'm going to find it again now. There we are. Let me just see. Oops. We've got that one. We've got the flower. And a little tiny rose. I would have used that better, actually. There's another one. In fact, I can use one of those with a diamante. I've got four, haven't I? Right, so on this one, just there, I'm going to pop on that. And then we'll take one of the, uh, I collect all the stones I can uh from projects you know from broken jewelry and whatnot so you've always got something to play around with so i'm going to do that dodder glue hang on don't dry on me like that so you can see that really pretty what we're going to do with this one let's have a look I'm going to put a rose on here. That's all that needs. Is a oh look, God, <laughs> what a difference! I'm going to do a rose on this one. Uh, but th no, I'm going to do this diamante flowered one. Oh, God, that looks so elegant. And then the last one. We'll just put this rose on. Like that. Don't they look pretty? I'll show them in a minute. Let me just clear up. Always keep them handy. Uh, where's my feathers? But the other ones you can do is this. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's do it this way. Get rid of them feathers. go I'm just gonna hold that in you gotta hold it in and pull it up and when it's not doing it just put a little bit of glue in there
you get covered in glue. Spread that a little bit far. Again, I'm going to take this one. Bit of glue all the way up. And you're just going to fill it to make it fuller. That's it. It's a lot fuller. We just get rid of all this because it's doing me head in. <laughs> Feathers start to fly everywhere. Oh, you're in my light, mate. <laughs> God, it looks like they're doing. A, I mean, they're putting an awful lot of stuff back on the roof. It's uh, new panelling and everything. Looks brilliant, actually. Actually, actually. Right. So now I've got this one, which is like a. See, like a coil. Oh, I like that. Did I throw that back in? There we go. Sorry, I did. I'm going to put the. Um, just see wait a minute I just fancy doing something different got a little bit of lace just cut a little bit of lace right needle and thread You can literally, it's just using your oddments. These are all oddments you can use up. Or um, just different ideas. It might inspire you to do something else. I get a lot of messages from people who say they get um, crafter's block. And, uh, and I'm thinking, very rare I do. <laughs> very rare I get it. My head's full of ideas. Okay, now I've just sewn it like half a flower. Like that. It's like, fan me, fan me. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. that there and I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, diamante trim whenever I put it oh wherever I put it Oh, diamante charms. No. Oh, I could do. I could. I could. I could have done something like that, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. But it might give you an idea to do something like that. I just need to find my diamante trim. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of this, it's pearl diamante, pearl diamante. I'm 
I'm just going to That's right, perfect. It finished on a diamante as well. It actually just looks like I've got a button on there. But then I'm also going to put on a little flower at the bottom. Just tuck that under. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. And you've ended up with a. It's just a decoration that you've made yourself. And how much would you pay in the shops for that? A lot of money. So, let me just get rid of this. I have to put things back, otherwise, I'm getting. Uh, I lose them. Right, so I'm just going to get all of these out, put my needle back, don't want to lose that. Scissors back, because this is the last one I'm doing today. You've done well, you've had six or seven out of me this week, again. <laughs> so, let's have a look, see what we've managed to do. See, that one, um, I could, I could, I'm not sure pop that on top in fact I'm going to just because I can which is adding a silver one to the bronze one like that it's just decorated it up a little bit more but it can be used for any project oh and let me put those back otherwise I end up losing them there you go so We've got that one. I love that one. I love them all, actually. And that one. And they're just great to make your own decorations. If it's given you an idea to try out something different, fab because that is what it's all about but you can get lots of different it's like this one you don't have to have these you can have something like this it's just a, an oval shaped chunky one and and look you can imagine it and then just take all these away and make your own for your project brilliant collect everything you can because you never know when you'll make something from it. I know that's like sounding like a hoarder, but if you craft regular, it, it's not hoarding because you're actually using them. So there you go. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. I will take a photograph of these. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.